Diving is the highest art of the athlete, the spectacle of sport. Helen Krilenkovic, runner-up in the Springboard Diving Championship, limbers up for the national meet in Pasadena's Vista del Arroyo Pool. In national and Olympic competition, contestants must do five dives which are compulsory, and they're permitted five optional dives. The elective dives vary in difficulty and are scored accordingly, so each contestant selects the most difficult dive she can do well. The half twist leads up to the more complicated dives. Helen, who is only 17, does the hardest dive in the book, a two and a half somersault. She's the only American girl to attempt it in big time springboard competition. Looking more complicated, but actually slightly less difficult, is the full twisting one and a half. Now a feet first dive, the single layout somersault. The back dive, compulsory in all competition. It looks easy, but is a tough hazard hard to master. Only the top flight divers among girls do the dangerous back one and a half somersault. finish off, Helen glides through one of the most graceful of all dives, a front jackknife. Another headliner tunes up in the deep end. Iris Cummings, national breaststroke title holder, bores through the water in the Sunset Towers pool at Beverly Hills. Radically altered for speed, this stroke retains the fundamentals of the old-fashioned breaststroke. Using the breathing method of the crawl, she lifts her head and inhales as she pulls on the arm stroke. Then she ducks under and glides as the feet are snapped together. Butterfly style, a recent innovation in breaststroke competition, is used only for short spurts for it's so exhausting that no swimmer has yet been able to keep up the pace for any distance. From the 33-foot tower, 18-year-old Ruth Jump, national platform diving champion, soars in a graceful swan dive into the Los Angeles Olympic pool. It's a different technique without a springboard as she twirls into a one and a half. Perfect timing and coordination in the dangerous two and a half. A half gainer. The leading amateur platform diver, runner-up in the last Olympics, Signs off with a daring back one and a half. The Hopkins twins get away to a racing start at the Huntington Pool in Pasadena. Marion and Virginia make up two thirds of the national championship medley relay team.
The racing dive is shallow, but not flat. The twins reach for distance, taking up the flutter kick as they lose the momentum of the dive. Then the full stroke, swimming with the knees and elbows loose and relaxed. Now the turn. They slap the wall, breathe as they come about for the push-off. Then they take up the stroke again, using an eight-feet flutter kick, four to each arm. Marion, national 100-meter freestyle champion, shows how speed swimmers make up fractions of seconds on turns as she shoves off from the wall. Practicing at the Santa Barbara Biltmore for the defense of her national springboard title is 15-year-old Marjorie Gestring. At 13, a perfectly coordinated dives and calmness in competition led her to Olympic championship. Today, she is the world's outstanding woman diver, doing a back one and a half that no other girl and few men do so expertly. Now, a graceful back jackknife. Here's a running half twist. A full twister. Watch how Marjorie controls the flight with her head and shoulders. This one's dangerous. A backward spring with a forward somersault. It's a cutaway, one and a half. The champion shows top form in the half gainer. Gainer, one and a half somersault. Now to the half gainer, she adds a half twist. A few weeks before these pictures were made, Marjorie took up platform diving. After only 10 weeks of practice, she took second place in the national championships. This one and a half shows why Marjorie is the world's outstanding woman diver. Diving like this that leaves the crowds breathless. And with these leading swimmers and divers in the ranks, the American team is certain to splash to a sweeping conquest in the coming Olympic Games. 